Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in the world today, welcome to my channel. If you guys are looking for travel, entertainment, adventure, please consider subscribing to my channel. Definitely hit that notification bell and hey, drop me a comment. I would definitely love to hear from you guys. So you guys, this is the last day, day eight on this Carnival Vista cruise ship. We're gonna kick this video off starting with a towel folding clap. Let's see if Danielle can pull this off or not. Then go soak up some sun. Jump on the sky ride, cruise around the ship, channeling my inner Tiger Woods. Can I get a hole in one? Hmm. Yep, that's what happened. Then splash around waterworks. I'm starting to feel like a kid again. Let's go try some trivia. You think I'll know all the answers? We'll see. And then, end the night with a silent party where the fun, dancing, laughing, hanging with new friends for enjoyment and entertainment. So with that being said, you guys, let's go have some amazing fun and let's enjoy our last moments on this Carnival Vista cruise ship. Let's head out, you guys. Let's go. going to make an attempt to attend the towel folding class. I've been trying to come to the class for the last couple cruises and I've been missing it. So it's going to be here in the Liquid Lounge. Um, if you're on the Vista, definitely come and try. I think it's good for the family. The kids will love to do it. It's a good activity. It's actually harder than it looks, but it's uh, something nice to do and fun and maybe do some towel animals when you're at home. So let's give it a shot. Let's go in and see if we can make some towel animals. Come on. So we are in the liquid lounge and we're doing a towel folding class today. Some of the team members on board are going to show us guests how to fold towels and see if I can make one. I made, uh, tried to make one before. I did, wasn't so successful. So we're going to give it a shout and see how well I do. Um, do not laugh if my towel animal falls apart. I'm going to make an attempt to do the best I can. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, stay tuned see how uh, everything comes out. I have become experts right here in this lounge. So let me tell you this, towel folding is all supposed to be fun up there on the stage. Don't get stressed out. If you don't quite get it, it's okay. We're gonna try and get through as many animals as we can. Now just do your best, do your best. It's all about having fun. And then, so Let's with the big started. towel, everybody, with the big towel, shake it off, the big towel, shake it off, shake it off. And with the big towel, what are you gonna tell now this, what we make right now is actually gonna be used for the next three towel animals. If you have place the big towel in front of you, all right, now with the big towel, you're gonna to fold it from the bottom towards the top, just a few inches. Fold it upwards, just a few inches from the bottom towards the top. And you're gonna do the same from oh, the top side. towards the bottom. So from the top, you're gonna to fold it down That's towards nice. you, just oh. a few inches from the top towards Thank the bottom. Thank you, I'm getting some help. Just a few inches from the top towards the bottom. All right, once you have done that, when you're there, yeah, perfect. You're going to start rolling from one side towards the middle. Like I said, you're going to be using this big towel for the next three animals, all right? So whatever you make right now, you're not going to remove it. You're going to keep it for the next few animals. Okay, you guys, I finally made it here to the liquid lounge where they're already started building the bears with towels. So here I am. All right, once you have done that, when you did that, yeah, perfect. You're gonna start rolling from one side towards the middle. So grab the very side point and start rolling it inwards towards the middle. Roll it inwards towards the middle. Roll it, roll it, roll it. From the side, yeah, tightly roll it. Yep. Yeah. And once you get to the middle, you're gonna Danielle. do the same with the other side. You do the same with the other side. You guys, there's Danielle right there. So two evenly rolled sides. Like I said, you're gonna be using this big towel for the next three animals, all right? You know I'm gonna have to go to the lower it. level, guys. Stay tuned. The next few animals. Hold, it. Hold it in half. And whatever you've just made, you are gonna put in front of you. Try and stand it up like four legs. Like four legs, you can try and stand it up. 
Try and stand it up for me. You might need to be firm with it. Hopefully it should stand up. So you're gonna grab the small towel and the first instruction is, you're gonna put it underneath your chin and you're gonna start rolling it down. Bosa. Like I said, Danielle is already there. She has no idea that I'm coming. Now, you remember what you did with the swan, right? You're gonna do the same with the small towel. So you're gonna grab the small towel and the first instruction is, you're gonna put it underneath your chin and you're gonna start rolling it down. Both sides. Roll it down both sides, roll it down. Good morning. All the way down, just like you did with the swan. It's a bit easier with the small towel. As you guys can see, Danielle looks surprised that I came. I rolled my hair. Oh, I'm making good. Oh, okay. And on okay. stage, guys, is Marty. And what you've made right here, you're going to place in between the big towel, place it in between the big towel in the middle, and fold it back over. And it should be like a tail at the back. If you shape up the face a little bit, you've made yourself the towel dinosaur. Made her a table towel dinosaur. dinosaur. Uh, maybe? Mm. What noise does a dinosaur make, everyone? On three, two, one. Ah! And what noise does a swan make? Three, two, one. <laughs> No one ever knows the swan noise. <laughs> I think I missed All right, take a picture of your dinosaur. Take a picture of your dinosaur. Right. Was anybody at Family Feud last night? Did anyone come to Family Feud? A few of you, just a couple of you. Yeah. All right. The rest of the people are still. If your dinosaur, maybe you've got the face to stand upwards, is being curious, looking in the air. My dinosaur is very hungry. That's why it's facing down. Let's make the towel bear. Now this one. It's the advanced level. Well, You've already the done bear now. the dinosaur. My bear is very good at smelling with a big nose. Right? Mm -hmm. I see the bear face. <laughs> and the ears. Uh -huh. Elephant and a bear. You've already ticked off the advanced level, everybody. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yes. That's why we're doing today. You're actually making the animals for the cabins for tomorrow. Thank you very much. Oh, no, dark, it's always fun thing to accessorize this. the town animals. <laughs> oh, yeah. Marty, I know. The towel opens up like that. But what I need you to do is I need you to grab two ends and grab two ends and say three, two, one and put it away and you made the body for your towel animal right there. <laughs> what? Let's see if I do it. You've got it. Keep going. Can I do one hand at a time? Okay. I can do it without a pain this way? Okay. You can do it. You can do it. Keep trying. Keep trying. Yeah. Woo! Buddy, great job. All right, you guys, I'm actually glad I came because this is the moment of what yeah, I came here I've got for. To tell you that, there it happened. That was the easiest part of this animal, the big towel. Wow. <laughs> Woo! All right. We Once did. You made it. Let's do it. Because you guys are experts now. I reckon you could do this real quick. Hey, so what do you think about the, the towel folding? That was perfect. I've been trying to do the class for the past couple cruises and I kept missing it or sleeping past it. So I'm very excited that I got a chance to do it finally. Yeah. I did all right. I had a little bit of assistance from one of the people who work on the ship. I saw that. That was very, she was very sweet and helpful, but I, I had a good time. I'm happy I got a chance to do it. If you are guys are on a carnival cruise, they offer this uh, class on every ship. So I say, Go ahead and get up and try it, whatever they offer. Usually it's at a dead sea. So go and try it. It's fun. The kids will love it too. And also they have books to purchase if you want to take yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to learn, yeah. It's a good with the kids. It's a good family um, activity yeah. and it's just, you know, something different. Maybe you go make some towel animals when you're home. So yeah. definitely try it out when you're on board. Were you shocked that I came and visited you? Yes. Out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, man. Thanks. Okay, you guys, so man, Danielle just left the tower folding um, event, so we're actually headed to breakfast once again at the Horizons Restaurant. So um, come, hey, come join us. Come hang out with us, and uh, we'll show you what we're going to have for breakfast. I'm quite sure I'll probably be getting the same thing I normally get. But anyway, I um, want to invite you guys for breakfast. Um, stay tuned, guys. Okay, you guys, man, Danielle just been seated. We made it here to breakfast once again after the towel folding event. And... Um, I decided to bring her out to breakfast here at the Horizon, and who could ask for a beautiful view? It gets no better than this, you guys. Yeah, I love it. 
All right, it's time for breakfast, and um, we'll see you guys. That was a much younger That looks good. So you got almost what the same things we got yesterday. This burger, you guys, was so good. Everything was nice and fresh on it. I know that looks kind of sloppy. Let's see if I can turn around this way. Guys, yeah, this burger was so good yesterday. I had to get it in. They gave me fries, even though I didn't really ask for fries. Let's dig in. All right, this is the final bed making of our trip on our last day at sea. And my room attendant made us a heart and left us a note that says, Thank you for sailing with us and gave us some instructions on our departation for tomorrow. And, uh, that was really sweet. What a great uh, send off. All right, you guys, breakfast was delicious. It made me a little sad to have breakfast on the last day. This is the last breakfast. Well, no, that's not true. We get breakfast tomorrow when we debark off the ship on the Lido deck, of course. But that's our last sit down breakfast for this trip. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Now we're gonna go try to have some fun out here on the ship, get on some slides. Um, we have a little water sky ride that we haven't been on yet on this trip and um, maybe some puppet golf, try to do some fun stuff. We have a full day of fun that we wanted to take you guys with us and have some fun. So let's get started. I'm gonna change my clothes so we can get more comfortable, go up on deck and uh, have some fun on the Vista. Last day. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so the last fun day at sea here on Carnival Vista, I decided that I wanted to do the sky ride. Actually, they also have a ropes course here. I've done that before already, but I want to introduce you guys to the sky ride. So let's go to the sky ride, and I'm, I'll see you at the top, you guys. Stay tuned. you must be able to be in order to get on the sky ride on the vista read over that and if you have anything in your pockets your sign and sell any of that kind of stuff they do provide you a locker so you can put your things away you don't have to worry about losing that while you're on the ride and then you can go get a line have some fun like these passengers are doing and let's go check out the ride here's some information about the sky ride that it does if you would like to know about it the speed Quite interesting. You ready? So I just gonna have to ride by myself because there's absolutely no cameras that can be brought on, but I'm gonna do my best to film them as it goes. Crazy, it was fun until I got on the outside of the um, the yeah, trip? yeah. My man did his duty, he did, he did well. All right, Mr. Chuck, woo! And I'm in the laundry room, great guy. All right, you guys, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. <laughs> Chuck. There you have it. Why not? We're you ready to get beat? Let's go. 
Okay, you guys, this is all the things you need to be equipped with when playing mini golf. The hours here of the day is from 8 o'clock a.m. to 8 p.m. Yep. The golf sizes are going from extra small to double XL. Yeah. Hey, look. Something for everybody. Let's get started and let's just see how well that I don't do. <laughs> See how professional you not. What in the the ball the ball's supposed to go there, folks, right here. <laughs> so for some reason it ended up over there. Alright, here's his second attempt. You wanna make it, folks? One, two, zero. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, y'all, your favorite girl is up next. Let's see what Danielle can do at the ninth hole. Let's see what happens. Today already, ma'am. Okay, that was a strike, but go ahead. There, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, let's see what happens. It's supposed to land here, but she's over there. If I get this, I win. You know this, right? If I get this, I'm the winner. And you're the loser. But you didn't. It's like you did it, but you didn't. Did you see what yeah, it, did? it went in and it went out. Wow. Wow. Only on the Carnival Vista, guys, where you can win and then it can get taken right back from you. Okay, you guys, just another fun thing you could do on the fun day at sea here golfing. Um, it was just fun and very exciting. There are no losers here, you guys. Everyone wins here on yeah. Carnival Vista. All fun. Um, yeah, so hey, bring the family out. Hey, you guys will have an amazing time. Until then, we're on to the next um, adventure, so um, we'll see you then. Okay, you guys, so I'm actually headed up top here to do this water slide for you guys. I'm going to see how it, um, hey, what the hype is all about. So um, let's go get on the water slide. Let's go. in my face or whatever as y'all can see I look like a wet chicken but all uh, but all in all it was um it was very fun and um it is what it is and um there you have it the orange one is not running right now you guys because it's too windy they say so you couldn't get on that one this time all right remember Maybe a little later see you later guys <laughs> all right guys I'm entering into a point of no return 
there you have it, guys. For you, the viewers. Viewers. Okay. okay, you guys, your boy is back. I just got off of the yellow slot for the third time. The reason why I did it third time because it is that much amazing and fun. If you bring your family out here to Carnival Vista, well, you will enjoy this slide. Now, the wind is actually blowing real hard, but that don't stop the show. There is a um, height requirement. I think it's like four feet or something like that, but all kids are welcome. Of course, no babies, no toddlers, but all in all, it is amazing, and I survived it once again. Woo! Okay, you guys, so your boy just got fresh. I was wet all day just trying to give you guys footage at the water slides, but That's we're fun. actually headed to trivia, right? Yeah, we're gonna go trivia. It is called uh, Name That Theme Song from TV Shows. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna see if we can name the TV show theme songs. Okay. I liked TV when I was younger. That was all we ever did anyway. So I think I'll be pretty good at it. We'll see if I know some songs. All right, check out and see how your boy do. You know I'm gonna win, so we are gonna find out and see what happens. We'll so um, happens. stay tuned and hey, let's go to the trivia show. So here we go with song number one. Do you guys know that one? All right, here we go, one more time. Right down in the description below. Go for your song number two. We're doing well so far, we're one for one? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, then let's keep it two for two. Here we go. I know that one, I know that one. Here we go with song number three. That was easy. That was easy. You guys should know that one. Yes, I know it. English. What is that one? Okay. Here are the answers. How many did you get right? ordered from the chef's menu it is panini pasta with fresh clams and a pasta sauce with parmesan i ordered on the other hand a grilled pork chop with a glazed gravy sauce mashed potatoes and green beans and also ordered chicken with a cheesy mashed potato hash with seasoned vegetables So we just came back from our last and final dinner here on this cruise ship and dinner was amazing as usual delicious food was just breathtaking yeah so we actually came to this silent party don't say nothing but it actually look like it's gonna rain out here don't y'all think it's a green 
it's like it's like gloomy but we're gonna try to do this um silent party and give you guys that footage of that hopefully we'll be able to do it hopefully the rain doesn't stop us from doing that in the meantime we're just gonna hang out a little bit longer and um enjoy these last and final moments here on this carnival business cruise so we're on our way to go get our headphones so we can get this silent party started there you have it right there so let's see everyone's in the hallway got their headphones hear it all right we're on our way actually we're gonna get it from here all right. y'all really want to hear what a silent party sounds like <laughs> listen to this I can't hear you. What? I can't hear you. What? <laughs> So what y'all think? That was fun, wasn't it? Was Silent fun. party, everybody having a great time. Listen, I didn't know anybody, so you know, I danced, you know. Anyway, <laughs> um, I had an amazing time. What about you? That was a lot of fun. That was the first silent party I've been to. So yeah, I've never done that like that before. experience. You got to come and do it on the Vista. Mm -hmm. That was really fun. You definitely oh, have to. ships might even do this. I'm not yeah. sure. Definitely look up on their itinerary and see if they have that listed. Definitely go and do it if they do have it on your ship. Also, right. when everybody was like, when we left, people was out there still dancing. But it looks really funny when you actually just stare and be like, what in the world? Did we just do that just now? Doing this and yeah. No music is around. Listen, really I, listen, I seen people who like. Like, uh, you know, in their 70s and 80s, like getting down and they were dancing better than both of us. I was like, okay. The kids loved it. They could listen to the music and mm -hmm. jam out with their friends and, and family. So that was really, it was really, really yeah. fun. Yeah. All, all in all, we had an amazing time. And yeah. um, hey, we invite you guys to come to Carnival Vista and then yeah. have an amazing time. Um, oh, we should go try to get like a late night snack. It's still open, you guys. Let's see. The last day. Yeah, let's see if they got some pizza. You know, people around here be, you know, everything. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we're going to go see if they got some pizza. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Come on. And this is what cruising is all about. Pizza at 12 a.m. on the last day of your cruise, getting all your carbs in before you leave. <laughs> so we're gonna take the pizza, call it a night, guys, and see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Okay, you guys, that's it for this video. First off, I want to say thank you guys for coming aboard with me on the Carnival Vista. I had an amazing time, and I hope this video serves you guys well. Let's see, we went to several ports, you guys, and my favorite port of all was the beach where the airplanes flew over. Wasn't that amazing? I have never seen anything like that, but I'm glad that you got a chance to actually see that as well. The food was delicious. The staff was amazing. All the way down to everyone, people, meeting new people, meet new friends, dancing, all of the above. Please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe to my channel. Hey, drop a comment. I would definitely love to hear from you. In the meantime, don't stop. Keep cruising.